What's good people, it's Jay Cactus here and we're back with another tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to make an energetic or catchy beat for someone like Drake. If you're new to the channel please subscribe because I'm dropping new videos on a weekly basis but yeah let's get into it. Alright so the pack I used for this beat was the new Cymatics Hearts charity sample pack. It was basically a combination of producers that came together and put out their own samples in one kit. Um, it was only $25 so I thought I'd give it a go and see what's in there. Um, but what I liked about it was they added some MIDI expansions and some 808 expansions too. So for my main melody, I actually went with one of the MIDI expansions. I think it was a F sharp minor harmonic scale. And I wanted to use a, a nice synth sound so I used Hive for this. Hive's a plugin that I'd recommend if you haven't seen it before. And the sound that I chose was MC Mango. And that sounds like this. And already you can hear it's, it's a nice vibe, it's kind of catchy. Definitely some sim sounds that someone like Drake might use. And the only thing I did to the sound was add an EQ to take out some of the lows just past 100 hertz and then use the imager to tighten up some of the lows but then spread some of the low mids and the mids. If you don't have an imager plugin, you can just use the stereo separation here and just drag that to the left. And that was just to save some room for the 808s because I knew one was going in. So once I had my first melody, I wanted to add a counter melody. I've been using this plugin a lot recently. It's called Electra X. There's some sick presets in there. But what I like to do is find an app that plays quite quick, but then use half time to slow it down. So originally it sounded like this, which is just way too much. But then with some half time and some EQ to take out some more lows, it sounds like this. And that just fits nicely underneath it. And then I wanted to add a synth bass in there, but only for the intro. I knew I was going to switch it up for the verse. So the synth bass that I chose was in Omnisphere, and it's a preset called Vintage Vibe Time Bass. And all I did was follow the bass notes of the main melody. It's quite simple. It's just D, C sharp, F sharp. And then together that sounds like this. And then just to add some energy to the intro, I did a clap from the Cymatics pack. And then when I had that energy building, I could hear a snare roll that I wanted to put in. So I ended up taking a snare from the pack and set it to six beat and recorded this in. And then a simple way to switch up the verse is just to add half time to the main melody. So you can hear from the intro, it sounded like this. But then when it transitions into the main verse, it slows right down. All right, so that just gives it a different vibe, but it's still that kind of catchy and energetic feel. Instead of a snare, I wanted to use a rim shot. And that sounded like this. And then I added two separate hi-hats, both from the Cymatics pack. So the first one sounds like this. Change some of the velocity just to get more of a bounce. And then the second one added a few hi-hat rolls. And you can see that some of them are a bit off grade just to add more swing. All right, and then next was an open hi-hat. I just wanted a simple kick with not too much high end. I wanted it almost like a disco kick because I think they just work well with 808s and that sounds like this. So it's almost got a bit of a dance rhythm. 
and that swing creates that energy. And then I added 808 on top of that, but it only comes in after the first eight bars. And again, I'm just following those same bass notes, but just switching up the pattern a little bit. Those same notes as D, C sharp and F sharp. And then just to add a bit of variation, I added another synth from Electra X, just in this one part. And it was this preset here. And it was literally just two notes. I think it just added a bit of variation and it just worked well with the track. And then after I had my 16 bars, I wanted to add a bit of a bridge. So I kept the same melody, but then took out most of the drums other than the rim shot and the hi-hat. And then I also found a, a riser from the Cymatics pack again, um, just to add a bit more energy before the drop. And the hi-hat's coming again here. So now we're back to the chorus with the drums out. But then for the second half of the chorus, I added drums back in, but switched the drums up again. See, for the first half of the hook, I've got the synth bass, and then it, when all the drums kick in, the 808s kick in as well. And the pattern's just a little bit different to the main verse. So this was a real simple beat. I basically just had the same melody playing throughout the whole track, but just added half time onto the verse. The only bit that I did change was this section, and I just changed the chord a little bit. I just dropped it down. So I'll play it from here. And that was just to add a little bit of variation. But when you're creating catchy tunes, you kind of need it a bit repetitive because you want it to be memorable for people. So that's why I didn't mess with it too much and I kept it kind of simple. Um, again, I was just saving some space for artists as well because you don't want to add too much in there that vocals can't even get in. So this was quite a quick beat. I just wanted to play around with the new sample pack that Cymatics dropped. Um, I was originally gonna use one of the loops, but I ended up just using one of the MIDI expansions. Definitely with those sim sounds and bouncy drums, I, I think it came out of vibe, man. Um, the only other thing I did for the outro was just, I had the hook here as normal, and then I took out some elements and brought everything back in and then faded it out. So I'll just play it from the end. <laughs> in and then everything once again for a final hook that faded back out. So yeah, this was quite a simple video, man. I'm probably gonna do a full mixing tutorial soon where I go in depth on how I mix tracks from start to finish, but I wanted to keep this one simple today. I'm also doing a 30 day beat challenge on Instagram where I'm creating a new beat and dropping a video every day. Make sure you check that out. My Instagram is just at jcactusmusic. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel because I'll be dropping new videos weekly. So until next week.
Thank you.